Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. I hope you've all had a uh, wonderful holiday so far. We're going to be doing a bit of a shorter devlog this week as well. We've just gotten through with a massive update uh, as well as a huge tutorial video push by myself. So a little worn out and not a whole ton new to cover, uh, but we've got a couple orders of business that are super important. Uh, the first of which is the Meat Miss Ornament uh, Contest, which it is time, entries are closed, and it's time for all of you to help vote on subreddit's choice. So the way this is going to work is that I have made a thread with a comment for each of the entries uh, that were submitted to the contest. It's in contest mode, so every time you load the thread, they're going to be in a random order, and the amount of points they have is hidden. Um, just for, for fairness, so things that are at the top don't just sort of get more runaway votes. The, uh, the link is right down here in the description, as well as on the sort of main uh, subreddit uh, thread for the contest. There's a link in there as well. Uh, voting will be open uh, through January 4th, so please stop by, take a look at the entries. There's a wonderful mix of, uh, of goofy entries, serious entries, stuff in between, uh, some great uh, talent and uh, imagination on display. I must admit, I was a little surprised how many folks just had a 3D printer uh, laying around to make something uh, with it. So those have apparently become more prolific than, than I realized. Um, but yeah, just some just some delightful and, and fun stuff in there. Um, and yeah, so, so vote on those. Um, as I said, voting will be open th uh, through the 4th. I'm going to announce uh, the winner in uh, all five of the categories uh, in next Friday's devlog. So yeah, so that's our, that's our contest business. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was just a, uh, call it a post-mortem on this year's Meet Miss uh, themed scene. Everything seemed to, uh, to be fun and land well. I was super interested in seeing the... Um, seeing the way that all of you reacted to the grind and the systems that were obviously in to a certain degree serious and that they were actually designed in a serious manner. They linked into each other correctly. I tried to do some soft eco balancing, uh, especially as people found ways to sort of break it or circumvent certain elements uh, of the system. Um, but at the same time, the whole idea was that, that you know, it was taking the piss to a certain degree. It was, it was uh, dangling a carrot of something that, you know, very openly uh, you knew you were going to get anyway. And I wanted to see how many folks were actually going to go through the whole process of doing it. Um, and obviously plenty of you decided to be like, I'll just fire up Cheat Engine and, and bypass that, which is a totally valid way to deal with that. Um, I definitely think, I, I think the satire flew over a few people's heads in terms of the, like, yes, it's, it's meant to be unpleasant because these systems are pretty unpleasant, uh, in their implementation in a fairly wide variety of games. Um, I think it's always the tension, uh, as a game player, um, regardless of what game one is playing, um, to, to find the things that are interesting and compelling for us that get us through what are, by and large, incredibly repetitive structured activities, uh, regardless of what genre you're in. And in almost every game genre has some form of this. It's just it just sort of varies as to how obvious it is, how well obfuscated it is, um, you know, how central it is to the sort of required game mechanics. So I wanted to just thank everyone for participating in what ended up being only semi-intentionally a uh, big psychological experiment um, and just a and just a fun fun way to uh, to unlock content over the course of the uh, of the holidays. I also hope you all enjoyed the uh, the the uh, goofy final boss that was added on a whole bunch of cold medicine. So hopefully that makes that boss make a little more sense to you. Cool, so with that, I think that's probably about it for this uh, video. I'd like to just keep it short and sweet. Um, 
And so once one more time, vote again. Uh, what we're going to be doing next week uh, is, is going to be a 2018 roadmap. So laying out sort of where the game is at now, um, what, where I would like it to be over the course of 2018, and the sort of order that I'm going to be approaching, you know, core systems, uh, content, feature set, that sort of thing. So stay tuned for that next week. Fantastic. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your holiday, a, uh, a fantastic and safe New Year. So, talk to y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>